Hi there, my name is Kiana Wilberg and I'm an editor at Kaichur News. I took the Sputnik vaccine. This is Gordon Mosley and I've taken both shots of the Sputnik vaccine. My name is Fariza Hanif, the editor-in-chief of the newsroom. I am fully vaccinated with the Sputnik V vaccine, which is the Russian-made vaccine. My name is Nazima Ragabir. I'm president of the Ghana Press Association and a journalist attached to Prime News. I took the Sputnik V vaccine. I'm Navindra Siraj, assistant editor acting at the Ghana Chronicle. Um, I took the Sputnik V vaccine. My name is Anand Prasad. I'm the editor-in-chief of Starbuck News. Uh, I took the COVID uh, Sputnik V vaccine uh, the both shots of those. My first vaccine experience um, was pretty simple. When I went to the Ministry of Health, I had questions about the vaccine. The medical worker, the healthcare worker there, uh, was able to guide me through those questions and guide me through taking the vaccine, explaining what I should expect after I'd taken that first dose. When I got the first dose of the vaccine, there was a slight tiredness, the feeling of listlessness, and um, a slight headache the next morning, but that was about it. Within 24 hours, I was ready to go again. I experienced symptoms of chills, fever, and a constant headache. But I was told by the nurse that I should take Panadol, two Panadol every eight hours. And that's what I did. And within 24 hours, I felt much better. I had absolutely um, no symptoms on the first um, vaccination. Uh, there was no symptom at all. I first got my vaccine about a couple of weeks ago and the only side effect that I got was a bit of drowsiness, but I was able to shake that off and still continue with my work. I had very minimal side effects after the first dose. I had swollen lymph nodes um, on my, under my left arm and I found that it wasn't painful, it was just uncomfortable and that lasted for a day. First dose, it wasn't so bad, the symptoms were very mild and they quickly went away in a few hours. But the second dose hit me a bit harder because I, my entire arm was numb and I got uh, diarrhea and fever this time around. Um, so I, I, it hit a little bit harder than the first, but again, the Panadol worked every eight hours and within 24 hours, again, I felt much better. The second vaccination, uh, about 10 hours after, there was a, a, a fever and a chill, uh, but that subsided overnight and there was nothing else after that. Uh, again, the symptoms were very mild and the process getting the vaccine, it was smooth and very simple. I think being vaccinated is very important in being able to fight this pandemic. Um, it is something that I'd recommend. When we take the vaccine, we're taking it not only to protect ourselves, we're taking it to protect our families, we're taking it to protect the community. And more importantly, I think people should also be aware that we're taking it to arrive at what we call herd immunity. By doing this, you're not only protecting yourself, you're protecting your loved ones, friends, family, you're protecting other Guyanese. So without a doubt, there's, there's no question why you shouldn't get the vaccine. So I would just like to encourage everyone to go out there, safeguard yourselves and help to safeguard the country and its people. And we all need to have a hand in combating this disease. Tell you what, you have a choice whether or not you want to take the vaccine, but I encourage you to make the right choice. I would encourage everyone to take the vaccine to Read up as much as you can, do your research, do not listen to what people have to tell you, but do your own research. You need to sensitize yourself and just get information from official sources. That is the only way you would be sure of what you're taking. Trust me when I say you'll be safe after taking the vaccine. There's a lot of material if you have questions. The WHO website, PAHO website, UNICEF has some information on it. The Lancet, which does a lot of uh, peer review of these vaccines and any types of medication on uh, these vaccines and any type of medication related to the virus, um, you know, it's there for you to read and for you to understand. The vaccine does not protect us from contracting COVID. It protects us from being hospitalized with the most severe form of COVID-19. And it's important that if you have co comorbidities, that you try to protect yourself and your loved ones. 
remember that you can, if, if there's information that you need about this, you can visit the website of the Ministry of Health or you can continue to follow the daily newspapers which publishes Mythbusters from the Ministry of Health and you can feel free to make contact with uh, any of the hotlines that they have for available for information on this. I would implore and advise uh, the vaccine is so far the only way out of the COVID uh, pandemic and it's important for people to understand that. People are dying on a daily basis because they haven't been vaccinated, because they haven't had access to this protection. It's important you therefore recognize this and take the vaccine to help protect you, your family, the community and the country at large. Thank you. COVID-19 is real. We're seeing the numbers climbing. We're seeing the death toll climbing. And the reality is that we've got to take the vaccine. We've got to protect ourselves and protect each other to fight COVID-19.